up guys? I'm G. I'm Dom. I'm Donna. And uh, today we got a special edition of team building for you. We lost track of what number this is because we haven't done it in so long. I want to say this is probably 7 or 8. But, 39. Um, uh, yeah, 69. Of giggity, giggity, giggity. Yeah. Um, so of course, uh, we'd like to thank a big shout out to our, always our favorite sponsor, uh, Southside Craft Soda. Um, shout out to them, and um, of course, um, today we're not drinking their soda, um, we normally drink it on the podcast, but um, today we're drinking our sorrows away, now that the commanders are gone. So Charge! Um, so, you know, one last time, had to reference the commanders. Um, so, um, I know what you're wondering, what are we doing today? So This is a nice game that we do on our podcast, if you follow our podcast, that I like to call InstaFilm, or InstaPitch. Um, so, the way that InstaPitch works, normally works, is that we go on Instagram, find a photo, and we take turns filling in the story like a Mad Lib based on the photo that is presented on Instagram. Yeah, and that's a very tough game when you have to do it by Instagram. But um, we fell miserably because normally we end up landing on uh, pictures of uh, hotel rooftops and tomatoes. <sighs> Fucking tomatoes. So we've decided to tweak the game a little bit just for the sake of fun and craziness. So um, we're not sponsored by Cards Against Humanity, but today we're going to use Cards Against Humanity cards. Um, we got white cards here, and the black cards are going to just be a little bonus for me because I like a little more twist to it. What's that so, twist? So, what we're going to do is, don't worry, it's only me. You're safe. Uh -huh. I know, you well, saw our eyes roll. You get the special treatment. You saw, you saw our eyes roll. Oh, you want to play that way too? You can play that way too. I don't know what you're doing, but that special treatment has to be Last fair. Last time I checked, okay. it was America. So, we're going to explain that rule in a minute. So, what we're going to do is, because Donna's the only girl here, she's going to pick... Three white cards. I you mean, you count her other person personality. She's Karen too. And then we'll let Dom pick it out. Can I so see three, them? Or is so three cards. Like no, you can look at them. Well, I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna choose one in the middle. To see them at the same time. And choose one in the middle. Because there's always weird things in the middle. Wink, wink, giggity, giggity. What are you talking about? And then. Do you think Oreo filling's weird? Gonna pick out the. No, middle. but it tastes good. <laughs> so now. We have the three topics. So the white cards here are going to represent the topics Come that we on. must include in the story. Don't say it out loud. But the black card is going to either answer whatever the card says is the moral of the story. Or whatever it says is the moral of the story. I got a dumb one. So, <laughs> with that being said... Okay, so the movie opens up on a husband and wife who just finished seeing their kids open their presents. The dad just got laid off from work, so he doesn't have money to get him good gifts. So what does he get him? He gets him a bunch of combs. And the kids are like, why combs? He's like, you have a beautiful set of hair. People would kill for this mm -hmm. hair. So, of course, Christmas ends. The kids are all mad. They break the fucking thing, the comb, chunk it across their room. And they're like, this is a piece of shit. So while that's going on, the dad goes back to the room and decides that he's a fucking loser. And he cries to the wife. Sad. And the wife is like, why the fuck are you crying? You're not the one that had to suck dick to fucking get him those combs. Whoa. So then she starts good. crying. So he's like, what do you mean? She's like, those were $300 combs. And he's like, damn. why are they $300 combs? God damn. She's like, well, I got a long story to tell you about how I got these combs. Uh, and then it goes into flashback mode. So then they flash back to two days before Christmas. And she's actually a stripper that her husband doesn't know that she strips. What? So she is in the strip club you making that ass for dollar bills. So, why she's there. It's my life. <laughs> she sees this white man who sits there and with this big ass shiny comb, he's there combing his scalp. Because, you know, white people love combing their scalp. Bing. And while they were combing their scalp, she robs them and does crimes. And that is why daddy is wondering why mommy is crying. <laughs> <laughs> you are a minute. Uh, oh, a minute and a half. No, you're negative. Oh. Okay, so there was once this family, and it was the mom, the dad, and then two, I'm going to say girls, two girls. One of them was a lesbian, and the other one, for some weird reason, didn't like gay people, so that's why she was praying the wow. gay away. And... <laughs> Lesbian got really, really, really mad. 2019. And <laughs> was very offended by it. And so she wanted to... Uh, <laughs> uh, 
she wanted to make sure that the other sister heard the rhythms of Africa, which is Toto by Africa. And she <laughs> she good hated song, that song. song. She hated it so much that so she ended up pooping on the lesbian's laptop and then closing it. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, um, That's so fucked up. The parents got, they didn't do anything because they don't give a shit. And so the, the Academy Award for Shitty's parents goes to those parents. Wow. And 20 <laughs> seconds left over. Oh, wow. She did. <laughs> if, you want to join, awesome. if you want to join the T10 Culture Improv class, we're teaching classes every Saturday night. <laughs> Come out and have some fun. Um. <laughs> Alright, so my movie starts off with two good friends, one being Seth Rogen, the other one being Michael Pena. And so they have, they are roommates together in an apartment, and as you would guess, Seth Rogen is a pothead, and he, and Michael Pena is a, is a straight arrow, he doesn't do anything with drugs or anything, and then when he meets Seth Rogen, being roommates, that all ch so. When that happens, he just got him super, super high with some moon rocks, and which ended up that he was sold to by an invisible hand man. Whoa. Which you know that the weed is good if the guy has invisible hands. So, I mean, it's made in a laboratory and everything. I have a question on that after you're done. But when that happened, when they smoked this shit, they were seeing some weird shit. Like, it was like almost like being on acid, but yet feeling really chill. So basically, when that happened, they saw that their hands were gone, and they're like, "Whoa, I got invisible hands too now!" And so when that happened, they were like, "Whoa, we can do a lot of things with these invisible hands." So they started going to like rob at games because they were able to like switch cards out with these invisible hands, you know. And they found they met up with our friend Danny, and at the same time, they were trying to get this hooker to rip to reciprocate oral sex, but Ended up not, and that's uh, well. I ran out of time. <laughs> I couldn't even get to my black card. So we'll never know the end of that story. But what was it for the sake of it, Dom? Yeah. Well, then they went to a Chinese restaurant and they found a hand in there, and it was their hand. That's what you don't want to find in your compatible. What? Game. <laughs> I have so many questions. To I this know. Story. I have no idea. Well, who they're all start. high during this film, so. So let us know who you think is the best one. So, there's this really buff dude who had really powerful thighs. His thighs were so huge that when he would go squat, his, he wouldn't even touch the ground because his thighs were that fucking thick they would automatically touch his caps. So he would work out, work out, work out, work out, <laughs> and he was super ripped. He looked like... Man, looked those like thighs this. must be powerful. He looked like this. These were his oh, thighs right shit. here. Incredible Hulk thighs. Like, he couldn't... Like, see how I can't bend them? That's the way his is. Dang. His are. And then... He walked by and ran into Donna, who's going to take it away from you. <laughs> Let's just point out here that this guy is black. And he's old. And very wise. So, they give me some advice. Which I keep preaching because I heard it solely from him. Saying that thick motherfucking thighs save lives. And I cannot stress it enough. And then it's <laughs> Okay, so this old buff black man <laughs> then ended up meeting up with Robert Downey Jr. in Hollywood when he's making his, the continuation from Endgame because there's a continuation because you know Marvel Robert Downey and Jr. where he oh, tells the old for. the old black man that's giving him advice mm -hmm. that. In the movie, somebody's gonna get an ice pick lobotomy, and they say it's ended up to be cap. So, and then now Donna's gonna have to take it away oh, now. Oh, stands for. Oh my God! No, wait, no, that's wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Captain America. Huh? Say Captain America. Yeah. Cap. It's cap, guys. So it was the ending. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that Robert Downey Jr. told him that the whole thing in the new Endgame movie continuation is that somebody gets lobotomized by an ice pick. Oh, so okay. now he's still telling him the story. Okay. So and then he gives him that option, but then there's the other option which everybody wants of Atman going up Thanos' asshole. <laughs> and then um, 
all of a sudden they bring in the other option of Darth Vader helping him, helping Ant Man. Helping Ant Man. <laughs> Get up so he's into a good guy now? Thanos' asshole. Well, because he, they, Darth Vader ends up wanting to take over ah. and kill Thanos so that, mm. you know, he can take over the world. That's and, what my business um, <laughs> so, then, so why Ant-Man is growing back and fucking rips Thanos a new asshole and everything goes <laughs> all over the place? Not Darth, a new asshole, though. Darth Vader is standing there talking to the black, the old white black guy who happens to be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, shit. I mean, not Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, With thick thighs. What's his name? Samuel Mace Jackson. Windu. Mace Windu. Mace Windu. So Mace Windu's there, and he's like, Darth, what the fuck is that smell? And he's like, that's burnt asshole. And that is how the movie, What's That Smell, is made. <laughs> Five seconds left. Suck our dick. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez, Robert, why? So, we hope you enjoyed. Our quick little video to hold you guys off to get some more food in our stomachs and get some better stuff. So check out the other team building episodes if you haven't. Culture Creation, uh, Plus One, and of course our Food Truck Foodies hosted by Dom. And on Instagram, if you're an Instagram follower, check out Dibblings with Dom on our highlight story part Dibbles. of our Instagram. Dibbles. Dibbles with Dom, um, which he's on episode three now where he just kind of goes and eats everywhere. A smaller version of Culture Creation, less, less money on our part. And, um, of course, check out our podcast every Friday, like the beautiful table says here. Get you some Southside uh, craft soda over there, some Texacola soda. Um, and with that being said, see you guys next week. I'm G. I'm Don. And I'm Donna. And remember, 210 Culture, Culture, bringing, bringing the, the best of 210 Nation. Nation.